Oh, uh, they just did a continuance. Added additional stuff to claims. She wanted to change judges from a commissioner to a judge, and I agreed with her on that on that move because commissioners are like administrative uh, judges. They're not really they're, as as the as the as the commissioner said. It's a quasi judicial proceeding, which means it has some of the the safeguards of the Constitution, but not really all of them because. You, we volunteer into that jurisdiction so they moved us over into another courtroom and in that courtroom uh, they didn't even tell Good's lawyer because Good's lawyer had nothing to do with it he didn't she didn't even know that it got moved I had to call I had to call streets and let streets know that it, that it got moved to the courtroom so then she popped in over there and um, she was trying to basically file like an emergency injunction was basically what she was trying to verbally do saying that uh, Francois was in danger and she was up on the fifth floor and couldn't come down she wore furry crocs to court <laughs> like I'm so glad I went and got a suit because she wore crocs with fur on them and the same crocs for a lady that served food on yeah, Saturday so, night yeah allegedly the she's saying that uh, she served food too um, the and I don't. Yeah, finally, at the end, he's like, you know what? This seems like it's all related, and so this is all going to be. Yeah, kind well, of that's together. that's where like, so that's where it's super tricky because there's a like what what Good's lawyer said was there's no specific allegations. They're just very general allegations. So they're trying to create joinder and make us in her paperwork that she filed. She's trying to say that she's trying to say that we're a dangerous mob. Gang was the verbiage, and I'll read it here in a little bit. Um, I'll read the, all the new paperwork she did. I guess I could sit down and read it now. You, try to you, you, sh you, you should really get something to eat, though. Yeah. He, no, man, I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, the anxiety. Yeah, you no, must I'm be anxiety. hungry. <laughs> she wore Crocs, so like, if there was ever a time to, um, if there was ever a time to uh, dress up, I guess. Uh, you look like I, I want you to be my lawyer. <laughs> Yeah, they, they thought I was a lawyer. I'm going to show my fancy shoes. <laughs> you look amazing. Uh, thank you. Yeah. No, and, no, and I don't want Joinder at all. I want it to be demurred and, and be completely separate because they are completely separate. And really, she's trying to say that all the different incidences that have happened outside the thing, including the homeless man riding down the street on the bike, somehow is a reason why she deserves a uh, restraining order against me so i am thinking about getting counsel but the more like after sitting there watching how the judge was handling the claims and just was not allowing any haphazard evidence into it it was real like short and simple to the point did you put hands on them yes no did you make any threats yes no and basically everyone told on themselves in there so stop telling on yourselves <laughs> I see a furry croc t-shirt. <laughs> um, she tried to file a restraining order inside? Yeah. Well, that's the hearing. Well, well, Solomon. No, I mean, that was what, what was the hearing was about. The temporary restraining order had gotten, uh, wasn't uh, approved. So she was trying to say that it was timely and Miss Foster was, it felt that she was in fear. And she was here, but she told the bailiff that. She was, yeah, she was hiding away on a different floor because uh, she was afraid of yeah, she's hiding away on a different floor because she's afraid. I have only seen Foster twice. The Coster. Person, Coster. I don't even know the name. I don't even know the names. Like, I'm not going to get any of the names right. Epstein, whatever, the Madam hey, Epstein, and Zilzine, Jocelyn, whatever. Twitch. I, I'm horrible with names. Like, I could tell you court procedure. I could tell you about about why you want a commissioner, why you want a judge over a commissioner. I could tell you about Demur. And, and, and I can't even say the words properly. Demur and Joinder. I could tell you about these things. I'm not going to get a name right. And, and the more you talk about it, the more I'm going to get it wrong. Just to be like, fuck you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll read you a couple things. Are you on TLA? Do you want me to hold your phone for you? I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Because everyone's like jumping over. They're like, is TLA on? So. I just wanted to read a couple of the couple of the things from this paperwork that she just filed today yeah no I could I could go there tonight if I want I'm not sure if I'm going tonight uh, I might go tonight we'll see um, 
Uh, so she says, submits this instant memor memor memorandum, 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 memorandum uh, uh, in support of her application for the issuance of a civil restraint order. The case concerns a pattern of harassment, stalking, and threats against plaintiff, her staff, and her customers by defendant Scott Hockstetter. Hockstetter has repeatedly screamed in the plaintiff's business, threatening customers, yelled threats at customers coming and going within the restaurant, threatened her and her customers, stalked her, threatened and battered customers and neighbors, and yelled non sequitur slurs. Non sequitur. Non sequitur. Sequitur with sequitur. Non sequitur, I know it's, uh, isn't that just like when it's personal attacks or something? Guys, what's non sequitur? I, I what's non sequitur? I don't know that I have a more detailed None of them know. S E Q U I T U R. Customers and neighbors and yelled non sequitur slurs at slurs, her. So. Yeah, I just think of it as personal attacks. Right. Personal attacks? Yeah. I haven't made any personal that. attacks. Okay, here. Hockstetter and a gang organized by his co conspirator, William Goode, <laughs> have assaulted and battered her customers, including with tear gas. Oh my God. They have beaten up pedestrians and forced customers into the street, causing danger not only to miss. Cost her, but to members of the public driving on Franklin Avenue and walking on the sidewalk. Hockstetter engages in and threatens violence, including fist bites with plaintiff's customers. He's a convicted violent felon. He is scary, mentally unstable individual who has caused Ms. Coster emotional distress, requiring her to seek treatment and care from her physicians and higher professional security. She fears staying at home alone. <laughs> While Hoxeter asserts that he's a protester, this, peti this petition does not seek restraint of the content of an arguably protected speech. Arguably, because it is fucking arguably protected speech. It seeks only protection from threatening and violent conduct and harassment and the severe emotional distress called to cause to plaintiff thereby. Plaintiff's fear is evident in the va video attached herein. Oh, that's the video she handed you of her, yeah, her verbal yeah. attacking. Okay, so this is going to come back on them because this, they're lying and making yeah, false accusations. The, the case is not about free speech. Hoxeter acts and incitement to violence are not protected any more than any. Uh, oh, this is good. Any more than those of any hoodlum who screams threats at any victim, acts violently, and incites others to actual violence. Mindy, go go hurt somebody, Mindy. Yeah! That's a joke. That's a joke. They're gonna take that little clip out and use that in, in the evidence yeah, too. Right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Look that at the was face a joke. She made. That was a totally joke. <laughs> uh, Plano currently seeks a civil restraint order to keep Hoxford at reasonable distance from plaintiff, her home, and her business. All right. Uh, oh, this is where it gets. This is pretty. Uh, interesting she didn't give too. you any credit for liking animals or being like a no, good, no, good family no, person. No, like I love animals, <laughs> man. That's it. And, and so here. Francois Coster is the owner and proprietor of La Poubelle, a French restaurant located at 5907 Franklin Avenue. They Los spelled Angeles. rape shop wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> she and her family have maintained this restaurant at the location for decades. Listen to this. This one's good. La Poubelle is across the street from the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center. And accordingly, many of her neighbors and customers are members of the Scientology religion. I'm convinced that they're paying her. They, they, they. they uh, let me read that sentence again. This is coming from them. La Poubelle is across the street from the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center, and accordingly, many of her neighbors and customers are members of the Scientology religion. Scott Hackstetter is a member of the gang of persons attacking persons and entities allegedly associated with the Church of Scientology. Hoxetter is a homeless man from Illinois and Virginia <laughs> who lives in a van he drives from location to location creating conflict. In 2014, Hoxetter was charged with felony... Want <laughs> me to hold anything for yeah, you? Yeah. Okay. Felony aggravated battery against a peace officer. I wasn't charged with any felonies. They're fucking idiots. There's no validation of any kind no. of penalty. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And was convicted in a superseding indictment of felony resisting arrest. That's a lie. Never, I, I have no, I have no felonies. Hoxter has been arrested several other, other known times is believed to have a criminal record in Virginia. I don't have a criminal record in Virginia. You forgot the fucking direction in front of that Virginia, you fucking idiots. You do some type of fucking research before you make these things. Indeed, research on Hoxter reveals another video of him on YouTube talking about having guns in his car. 
Near the end of the video, Hoxetter appears in a leopard skin coat, wearing antlers and screaming at police through a megaphone. That doesn't sound like me. Antlers. You know where antlers obviously, are to make you like yeah. Gen Six. Or obviously, Gen 6 guy. yeah. Well, wait, it, it's coming. The, the Gen oh, Six, the Gen me. Six is coming. Oh my goodness. Obviously, <laughs> mentally deranged. <laughs> she has a psych degree. Uh, huh. wow. The YouTube video is entitled "Known Violent wow. Stalker on Probation." Scott so Hotzer says DC police suspect him of having guns and van. Well, they did. They did. That's one from one of my haters. I don't know what hater video is that. Another frightening online video shows the same incident where Hoxley is screaming at someone, asserting that he's been stalking Ashley Babbitt's mother in Washington, D.C. The woman killed in, at the Capitol during the January 6, 2021 demonstrations. The videos are not dated, but are therefore ra rarely recent. Plaintiff is justifiably emotionally disturbed and upset regarding Hoxeter's prior acts of mental instability and stalking <laughs> others. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what did the judge have to say about The him? judge wasn't having it. The judge was basically like, we're having a continuance. And so uh, Hoxeter's acts of stalking Miss Coster his threats and acts of violence performed directly in front of her place of business and which were specifically undertaken there to harass and intimidate her are, are most alarming. This is precisely what he is doing. Intimidating, harassing, stalking, seeking to destroy her business, drive away her customers, and causing her emotional distress and pain. Francois, Francois Coster will give evidence of the impact of this on her health and, well, and mental well-being consistent with the declaration filed with this court. Uh, no one called Hoxter him. Hoxter was apparently Homeless attracted guys. to the turmoil that in my created right by now. William Goode and came to the area to participate in the harassment initiate, initiated by Goode. He has appeared at La Pubelle to harass Miss Coster since early February. His purported, his purported basis for harassing Miss Coster is that she wrote a letter in aid of sentencing to a former neighbor and customer who was charged with sexual assault and appeared at court to support his wife and parents. While he occasionally yells out comments, while he occasionally yells out comments at and into the restroom that are apparently about the issue, largely he simply harasses Mr. Coster, Ms. Coster and her customers, and assaults, threatens, and batters customers or passerbys unfortunate, unfortunate enough to come into contact with him on the narrow sidewalk. <laughs> he repeatedly blocks in front of Ms. Coster's place of business. There are dozens of such incidences. The following incidences exemplify these acts. Hoxetter appeared at La Poubelle on February 9, 2024, yelling mostly non sequitur. Non sequitur. Non sequitur. I didn't get an answer about what that means. Okay, illogical. An argument. Yeah, it's illogical. It has illogical. nothing to do with what. Uh, what, 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 what's, what's with the cause? Oh, so, yeah. okay. Nothing to okay, do with okay. the. Okay, irrelevant to the cause. Irrelevant to the cause. Savings about as Ms. February Ms. 9th. Foster, One of my Rome, mods, please send me February 9th immediately in to front look of the up on my yelling uh, about 5150, feet. the California Welfare and Institution Code section for involuntary hospitalization of persons who are dangerous to self or others, and calling Ms. Coster a moron and, and more non sequitur statements such as "I am the fire." That is why the fire department was here. <laughs> <laughs> they put that in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. While zooming in on Ms. Coster with his camera. Exhibit 2, video clip, February 9th, 2024. Wearing a red king robe and a shirt which read, Drink up, pussies. <laughs> Acting drugged and insane and laughing manically. That doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. This is a, this is the paperwork. Like I was handed this today, man. I'm reading this. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me go over that. <laughs> Wearing a red king's robe and a skirt and a shirt that read "Drink up, pussies." That's my kitty cat. So that had nothing to do with pussies. It had everything to do with kitty cats. Acting drugged in her or insane and laughing manically, he yelled, "You're an idiot! You're an idiot! You're an idiot!" He zoomed in on Miss Coster and yelled. People are calling your restaurant. Oh my God, please don't call, guys. Don't call, don't call. He's obsessed with and videoing, videoing and overhearing Mr. Coster as shown in, cl in the clip. Among other things, he yelled, come and tell me about the ridge, the rape. They misspelled rape with ridge. And why you supported it and I'll leave. Because I did. I asked her if she wants to, you know, if she wants to come on, like, come on record and give a statement about it, then 
I wanted to talk like a normal human being. So, uh, as a gang member, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is real shit. As a gang member yelled through a megaphone into the restaurant, Hoxeter laughed and further yelled in the rest restaurant and at Ms. Coster who was inside. She, sent, she filmed some of his taunts and closed the curtains. Hoxeter yelled, come on, you've already filmed me. I'm DOA, Defender of Vance. I'm the one that <laughs> shut down your business tonight, Friday night. Hoxeter repeatedly yelled into the restaurant while filming Ms. Coster and her customers. This is what corruption looks like. This is what corruption looks like. God, it was so horrible to say that. Uh, he yelled into the restaurant as Miss Coster while Bill Tabiner saying, you're evil, you're evil, you're evil. They're, they're all threes here. Uh, 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 close the curtain tighter. And he said, it doesn't close, you moron. <laughs> Later that evening, a man tried to ride past the restaurant on a bicycle and one of the gang members elbowed him, elbowed the man. Are they talking about the oh, police guy? Yeah, yeah, this, this, uh, is the our, our yeah this is the homeless guy on the bike, all right? Like, Here, let like me say this, line three of page five, it's all on pleated, it's on pleated paper. Uh, line three of page five. Later that evening, a in. man tried to ride past the restaurant on his bicycle and one of the gang members elbowed the man. The man faced a person who had hit him and was attacked from behind by Hockstetter, who knocked the man down and two others, a huge companion, jumped into the fight. As Hoxetter punched the man and slammed the man against the car. Hoxetter's mentor, William Good, thereafter. That's your mentor. Yeah, he's my mentor. <laughs> Streets is my mentor. <laughs> no, he's my mentor. <laughs> well, I mean, I did, like, I was watching him and shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. More like inspiration. Hold on, hold on. Wizzy's in here? Hold on, hold on. Wizzy's in here? Hold on, sorry. We got a Scientology in here. Uh, <laughs> is Wizzy really in here? Oh my god. Oh, there's Wizzy. It's about time you fucking finally came in. You love coming to you love trying to see me go to jail in court, don't you? Oh, that's Christopher Bra. Wizzy Way TV is Christopher Bra. He's a Dolly Grip from Hollywood. Okay. <laughs> Movies include Spider-Man, uh, chose Grey's Anatomy, Lee Dundas, the the alleged human trafficker helper, former Scientologist. A lawyer and Scientologist herself put WYSIWYG into the People's Convoy and made him the main media person for the People's Convoy. So it's about time WYSIWYG showed up, man. It's been two fucking months, buddy. About goddamn time. And uh, so, like, so all you guys know that. Yeah, where's Young Kim? Ask him about Young Kim. And uh, and so, uh, hold on. I, I, I was, hold on. Good is my. Mentor. Oh, yeah, the mentor. William Goode thereby praised Hoxeter, saying, I love the way DOA Hoxeter didn't hesitate to take out that guy. However, Hoxeter was arrested. Not true. That's just not true. I was not arrested for any bike incident at all. This um, is just so crazy that they're just... Oh, yeah. Oh, here's a, this, his hate gang. There's a hate gang. Wait, there's more verbiage. I don't know what a hate gang is, but we're about to come onto the hate gang. <laughs> On February 13th, 2024... An elderly man was trying to walk past a Pel Pel Oh, this is the Danny incident. Pelonix? Pelonix? Uh, Phalanx? I don't even know Phalanx? how that's pronounced. Teacher? <laughs> P-H- well, Yeah. Uh, P-H-A-L-A-N-X? Phalanx? That's what I said. Balance? I've never. I've never. Is this fucking I've never McCullough? Heard of McCullough's yeah. bitch ass right in this? He just yeah, uses pharynx. it as a chorus. Yeah, like right. larynx, pharynx. Yeah. 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 Larynx of Hockstetter and his hate gang blocking the sidewalk in front of La Poubelle. And one of them oh, blocked different. his way. The group, including Hockstetter, surrounded him, taunted him, and challenged him. Hockstetter challenged a man to touch somebody, and I dare you to touch me. The man said, You're just trying to antagonize people. Hockstetter replied, Yes, I am because I don't like little bitches touching me. <laughs> Exhibit 9, video clip, February 13, 2024. On February 14, 2024, Hoxetter set himself up in front of La Poubelle, harassing customers coming in and out of the restaurant. In one incident, while Hoxetter was blocking the sidewalk, a man allegedly touched his arm. That's a battery. Allegedly touched his arm, resulting in Hoxetter cursing at the man. Which is true. Which yeah. is one, a female customer walking in the entrance asked why he... Why... Why he was harassing people. Hoxer told her, shut the fuck up. 
You just elbowed me, you piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Is that in there? That sounds yeah. about right, man. That sounds about what something I would say. <laughs> if someone elbowed me and touched me, I'm going to tell them to fuck off. <laughs> and so on February 16, 2000, Hoxeter was arrested at La Pouvelle after he was involved in a tear gassing La Pouvelle customers. The LAPD press release describes the incident. On February 16, 2024, Hollywood officers initially met with two victims of a reported battery at Hollywood Station front desk. The officers obtained signed private person's arrest statement forms, and around 10.30 p.m., the officers conducted a follow-up to the area of the 5900 block of Franklin Avenue, where they located and arrested two assault victims. So, um, I just got and And so, they weren't charged with battery. They were arrested for... Um, they were arrested for tear gassing, and, and that got dismissed. Uh, and that all got dismissed. You need this. Yes. Well, I got to blow my nose. Yep. Yeah, here, I'll take one more. Yep. I've got broken, man. Us moms. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like this trash can up there, too. Or, uh, yeah. So, hold on, I'll just finish this up. Sorry, guys, I just want to... No, 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 this is what we, we want this. This is what we're here for, to support you and spread the word of all this crap. Uh, so, okay, that was page five. Let me find, let me find page six. You guys, we're not here to spread any drama. That's for other people who want to spread drama. This is not what we are about. Let's not even talk about drama. We're here for Scotty. Were they trying to talk about politics? No, they're trying, well... I don't, we're not talking about it. Here. Good. I got it. Oh, because you want to read. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, while officers were at the 5900 block of Franklin Avenue affecting the first two arrests, they were alerted of a second physical alteration at the location. The officers detained the described suspect, met, met with the victim of the battery, and provided the victim with a field show-up admonishment. The victim positively identified the detained individual and the suspect, and the suspect uh, individual as a suspect, and the suspect was arrested. The first two suspects arrested were Daniel Gonzalez and Cameron. The suspect arrested in the second inc incident was Scott Hoxeter. All three suspects were booked for ter California Penal Section 182 conspiracy and 22810 unlawful use of tear gas. The officer's investigation revealed that the that the battery crimes and the unlawful use of tear gas were committed by multiple suspects whose actions were planned, organized, and coordinated. The investigation included evidence that tear gas canisters were distributed for purposeful use against others upon confronting and baiting them into physical alterations. Good bragged to his follower, Scott Hoxetter, that he had gotten donations for the bail Hoxetter and another violent follower who, like Hoxetter, has also been arrested outside of La Poubelle. On March 2nd, 2024, Hoxetter repeatedly yelled into La Poubelle. At his van parked at the entrance to La Poubelle, he yelled at some customers leaving the restaurant, go fuck yourselves, you fucking losers. He then followed them down the block and across the street, continuing to curse them, including calling them kitty fuckers. I didn't, I didn't follow anyone across any streets, that's a lie. The same day, You're like I wasn't gonna do because you have your kid, but yeah. since your woman said the fuck. No, that was no, awesome no, there. that was a different incident. Jesus. But uh, there's been so many incidents. Yeah. Still, but none of this has to do with fucking Francois. At all. None of this. This, this is, is all. all if they people. have a criminal issue or want to do an emergency injunction or restraining order or go about it, then they might have a matter. But Francois, what I do with to other people, what. It has no bearing on no uh, Francois at all. They're just like trying to build some big story and the judge was not having it. Yeah. Said. The same day he used a megaphone to yell into the restaurant and be berate Miss Coster. Notwithstanding that the assertions by Hoxetter were lies, the acts were intended to disrupt the business inside the restaurant, which also violates the Los Angeles law regarding use of sound enhancing equipment, which they use the, the speakers outside and that's okay. Amplified sound. So Hoxeter also told customers leaving that they are trash, among other random profanity and slurs customers. Well, they are Hence trash. Hence the name of trash. Yeah. Bell means trash. On March 6, 2024, Hoxeter admitted on a streaming video in case there was any question if he was... Oh, here's the troll. Like, this is why I say this, because it's, it, it always comes in on the... It always comes in in the paperwork to the haters. My haters hate this. Uh, and this is why I say it. <laughs> uh, 
in case there was any question if he was a protester or simply a man harassing others for clickbait and monetized social media that I'm not an activist anymore, I'm a paid actor. <laughs> you do technically pay me. <laughs> so this is a good time to cash at me, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if uh, if you ask for money, you are no longer an activist. <laughs> Hit that like, share it up. Fuck you, Wizzy. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and a later incident on March 14, 2024, Hawksetter assaulted and battered a man who came out of the restaurant. While that man was on the phone with the police, Hawksetter loudly cursed at the man, calling him a lying son of a bitch, but quickly packed up the van in which he lives in and parked in front of the Lapu entrance and fled before the police arrived. Okay. Were they talking about the last week's incident? Yeah, yeah. The fake incident but that the, the, the guy I, fucking lied. But that guy chased me, like. Yeah, and the guy chased poor Solomon. Tell him. Yeah, he chased me. I said, watch your back, which isn't even considered a criminal threat. And then he chased me. Like, if you're trying to make yourself look like the victim, why are you chasing a minor? So she quoted a bunch of legal arguments, civil code of procedures, section 527.6. Person who suffered harassment is defined as subject may seek a temporary restraining order. Uh, the course of conduct Guys, that seriously alarms, Scotty. annoys, or harasses a person serves no leg legitimate purposes. She says Ms. Coster meets each of the elements of the statute. Two videos which form part of the evidence of plaintiff's request for restraining order show Ms. Coster to be frightened and distressed when she is hounded on the way to her vehicle. Since February 2nd, 2024, when the campaign of harassment commenced, to the present, there has been multiple arrests by the police for various forms of violence, including use of tear gas, mace, pepper spray, fist fights, and at least one auto accident in front of the restaurant associated with the case. I got a definition for phalanx. A body of troops or a police officer standing or moving in close formation. Oh, a you formation of troops? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, including the use of tear gas, mace, pepper spray, fist fights, you, um, and at least an auto accident. Like, I literally got blamed blame for the auto accident that I reported <laughs> where that person fucking did the U turn. The guy did a U turn. Literally, but, literally. You know, that's, that's the goon squad that drives up yeah. and do U turns and try to block people. I got blamed for the fucking accident. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm going to get blamed for it raining tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. All right. The, oh, here we get back to this. There has been swatting incidents in which the fire department and LAPD have been called to the properties for no apparent reason, taking valuable first responders off the street where they may help others in need. The videos demonstrate that Ms. Coster, her staff, and her restaurant have been targeted. Ms. Coster and her physician will tell you, will tell the court that she has suffered extreme emotional distress and physical harm as a result of the contact of her agitators. It is anticipated that the defendant will allege that the First Amendment protects his speech. Oh, no. You really think so? <laughs> the First Amendment does not protect speech that leads to imminent lawless action or the acts of harassment addressed below. The two legal prongs that constitute incitement of imminent lawless action are as follows. Advocacy of force or criminal activity does not receive First Amendment protections and is likely to incite or produce such actions. So there's some court thing. Da, 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 da. Not to mention how their security almost attacked me the other night. Yeah, no, 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 no mention of the attacks on us. Yeah. It's uh, just how. Uh, harassment and intimidation of petitioners, customers is Camo, stop it or you're out. by the petitioner this, no, because this a slide reasonable is not for that. We're operator for of a retail establishment would sub no suffer substantial mind. emotional distress no if all the anybody. establishment customers are harassed and threatened. Uh, well, and like, how does the neighbors, how does the neighbors have anything to do with it? Uh, this is a bunch of case law. I'm not going to bore you with that. Hoxers protests do not even make a pretense of exchanging information or ideas. That's not true. I've been handing out flyers. It's a pretext for intimidation and monetized social media clicks. Hoxter's real purpose is to taunt and intimidate to take unauthorized pictures of the persons yes, that he frightens and then commercialize those images on his social media feeds in violation of Civil Code Section 3344. His harassment campaign has no legitimate relationship to any issue of public interest. Accordingly, uh, 
great one. Accordingly, speech Ask is entitled you. to minimum First Amendment protection. Reasonable content neutral restrictions on on Hoxeter's speech, such as a buffer zone and a prohibit prohibitions on stalking and intimidating face-to-face yeah, -face yeah, yelling yeah, confrontations are unquestionably constitutional. So that is where the police are failing. That's right. I was just going to say. That's where the police are failing. Because the police, the, the police should be making a, a buffer zone for the protest. That's where the police have failed. But somehow the police not knowing how to fucking handle a protest uh, somehow is my issue. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done here. Eggs explain the standard that governs whether restoring or owner can pass muster under the federal and state constitution. Free speech guarantees is the same as the governing the examination of any injunctive, injunctive restriction which it imposes no more burden as necessary to serve as a leg, legitimate governmental interest. The restraining order requested here serves as an important governmental and public purpose, the prevention of violence and harassment, and the protection of petitioners' legitimate safety, privacy, and property rights that section 527.6 was enacted to serve. Because petitioner seeks an injunction only to the extent that is necessary to prevent Hoxter's continuing course of harassment, the injunction requested neither overly broad nor unconstitutional. Conclusion. Sagat Hoxter must be restrained from harassing Ms. Coster. Hoxter should be required to stay 100 yards from Ms. Coster, her residence, and her place of business. Thanks, dear. He should not be required, he should be required not to harass, annoy, threaten, assault, or block her moves in any way. That's it. Oh, wow. Great job. Oh. You now, can you do it in a French accent? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tied my first tie today. It looks great.